hi guys welcome back to my video today's us born book is called phonics readers ted in red bed and before we get to my main vlog today i just wanted to show you this book it is another very cute book very easy to read for young readers Again, this will be great for preschool teachers, as teacher general, homeschooling, anything, anything for young children. Um, us born books are from infant up to high school kids. So if you're interested in this book or any other the us born books, I'll have the link below in the description and you can go check it out and buy them right now. guys welcome to my channel today I am making two meals the first one is a pumpkin cinnamon roll and the next one is spooky eyes taco so I have a breakfast and I have a dinner all right let's get started now I'm going to be making pumpkin cinnamon rolls and you can use any kind of cinnamon rolls you want or at least it should be these kind of Pillsbury ones doesn't have to be these pumpkin spice ones. I just saw them in the grocery store. And I've had them before and they're really good. And I was like, okay, this would be perfect with this making the cinnamon row or the pumpkin cinnamon rolls. Because um, this is more like the look of it than the taste of it. But this is, since these are already pumpkin, it's going to be perfect anyway. Uh, but I went ahead and got this pan and put foil down and then put the non-stick cooking spray on it so that's what i'm gonna be cooking on i usually use these circle ones for my cinnamon rolls and they come out perfectly but since i'm making stems i'm gonna have to use this okay so i just bent over one of the very edge of the cinnamon rolls to make the stem so you have extra right here and you can just bend it and kind of squeeze it and that makes the stem now I'm going to cook these on 350 for about 25 minutes next I'm going to be making the stem icing color I'm going to be using this green from this gel food colors um, I would be doing the actual icing. You can see I went ahead and put the icing on the, the majority of the cinnamon rolls. And usually, if I was doing this, I would do orange icing. But since it already kind of came orange because it's the pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls, I decided just to leave them like that. But, uh, if you wanted it to be more orange, you could you could definitely add some food coloring to your icing. Or if you just want more orange color to it, you could do that too. But I had extra icing left over from a cinnamon rolls that I am not using. So I'm going to use the, that icing. And here I go. I only used one small drip of the food coloring to get this green you could definitely go darker if you wanted to but since my cinnamon rolls over here the orange is very light I decided just to go very light with my green all right there you go they kind of look like pumpkins <laughs> oh well it's a thought that counts and the way they taste Alright, someone just woke up and they're ready for their pumpkin cinnamon roll. What do you think? Good. It looks good? Yeah. Does it look like a pumpkin? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, enjoy it. Alright, now we are going to make 
spooky eye tacos. You ready, James? Yeah. Yeah. So the ingredients we need is we need some shredded lettuce, some cheese. Mexican um, cheese would be really good with this. Tomato. You need some salsa, sour cream, taco seasoning, taco shells, a tomato, this, some this, 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 this. I know olives, and one pound of this. lean ground. Well, I got lean this. ground beef. Can I try to be healthy? What's the real dog for your eye? Do what, baby? What is it like this? And we make our dinner. We're gonna make spooky taco or spooky eye tacos. Oh, that's really good. That's that's really that gonna be good. Yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna add on some refried beans and Spanish rice. I know how much you love rice. Okay. Don't bruise my potato. Um, my tomato. It's already a little on the old side. All right. Let's get started. I always say my tears. All right, first we're going to preheat our oven to 350. Next, I got this pan thing, casserole dish, and I'm going to spray it with some pan. Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, now I try to divide the beef into two equal parts because I'm going to get this taco yes. seasoning and I'm going to mix this. them together I'm and then I'm going to make this red too you're going to mix that in there with too he's telling me he's going to mix the sour cream in with it too but then I'm yeah. going to make as many I want to make with you. meatballs Please. that I can and I'm well, going to put it into like this dish and then I'm going to bake it for 15 to 20 minutes Okay, so the meatballs are supposed to be 24 of them. <laughs> um, mine didn't exactly make even half of that. And it said it's supposed to be one inch meatballs. And that's pretty much what this is. But, oh well, does it, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Okay, so <laughs> we'll just keep going. Um, next. I am going to get this rest of this meat and then get the salsa. You probably have three fourths of a cup of salsa and mix them together and then brown it all up. All right, my meatballs came out of the oven. They're looking pretty good. My meat is done with the salsa. I cut up half of the tomato because James actually squashed the other half. So we only have one, a half of a tomato, but that's okay. And now warming up the uh, taco shells in the oven. As soon as it's done, I'm going to put a thin layer of... Mommy, help me. Hold on one second, baby. I'm going to put a thin layer of meat in the taco shells. Then I'm going to put the shredded lettuce and sour cream in it. And then I'll tell you what I'm going to do next. Oh, and tomatoes. Okay, so I stuffed it with meat, lettuce, sour cream, and tomatoes. And I wasn't thinking about this at the store when I bought, bought them, but I guess I should got the ones that stand up. <laughs> now they're just kind of uh, falling over, but it's okay. Also, now I'm starting to think maybe they meant half a, half a meatball or half an inch meatball instead of a uh, full inch. Because I don't know how I'm going to get these little boogers in there. <laughs> I guess boogers and tacos don't really go together. But um, these little balls in there. So, but maybe I can stuff them in there. But after I do that, I'm going to stuff the meatballs in the tacos. And then I'm going to put a little sour cream on top. And then olive on top of that for eyes. And then sprinkle some of the cheese in it for some like crazy hair. All right, James, what do you think of your spooky tacos? Yeah, yeah you ready to eat it? Yeah! I'm going to have cream. Uh, the meatballs actually fit in there pretty good, so I'm not complaining about that. They're not Instagram worthy, maybe. <laughs> but I still think they're cute, and James really seems to be and excited to eat them. Get out and I just I added eat some. And we just you can get eat it in just a second. I uh, just added some um, 
refried beans and some spinach oh, rice. James loves spinach rice, so he'll probably ask for some more. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's you ready to go eat it? Yeah. All right. All right, so I hope you like this video. If you think you're gonna maybe try one of these meals or have tried it, please let me know down in the comments. And if you really like this video, give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. That we want <laughs> Sorry, James got excited. Notifications to know when we make our next video. All right, see y'all next time. Bye.